What's going on, man? This is Zuki Cell, man. And I'm out here at the lot. This ain't my home lot, you know what I'm saying? This is the lot of Oni 50 and BB, you know what I'm saying? So you know I had to link up with them. Yeah, man, I told you I was going to give you a more depth review. A more in-depth review of the BSR Boshin Raven 250. Check out the last video when I just got the bike. I did a little test ride or whatever. So check that out, man. But today, we're going to start off with the facts. We're going to talk about my thoughts on the bike. And I'm going to compare it to Suzy, my last bike. If y'all didn't know, um, I had a DR200, Suzuki DR200. Um, it was an O2. It was a vintage dual sport. So I'm going to give a little comparison. What I think um, I like about this one more than I liked about my last one, vice versa. So let's get into it. Engine type. So this is classified as a 250cc, but the engine actually has 229 cc. So it's a four stroke, of course. Single cylinder, air cooled. Um, boring stroke, it's a 66x 65 millimeter. Yes, it has a starter, it has an um, electric start and kick start. So um, that's something that the DR200 didn't have. Um, the DR just had um, electric stuff. Um, yeah, so it's starting off at 16.1 horsepower. It says the max speed is 65 miles per hour. So that's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the DR was kind of like around the same range. Um, so it is a five speed, one down, four up, um, 428 chain. The frame is still hydraulic. Um, Adjustable oil um, forks, coilover spring is the rear shot. Um, front and rear um, hydraulic discs, and it's a 35 inch seat height and a 53.9 inch uh, wheelbase. Compared to Big 50's uh, Kawasaki, um, when it was uh, right next to it, I mean, it was pretty much kind of like the same seat height. His probably like maybe a little bit higher, but man, it's a big bike, you know what I'm saying, compared to the DR200. The DR200 was a little bit lower. Um, it felt kind of like, I don't know, it was just a little lower. This one is like, it feels like a big bike when you get on it. It says it weighs 278. When I first got on it, man, this thing felt like it was like 400 pounds. I'm not <laughs> gonna lie to you. So um, I couldn't really like swing it around when I was parking it, you know, moving the back wheel and stuff like that, trying, you know, swing it around and stuff. It wasn't as easy as the DR200. The DR200 felt way lighter, but man, I can't complain, man. This thing, I love it so far. I'm gonna get into it, man. I know y'all want to hear it start up, you know what I'm saying? Fire up, hear that thing purr. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn it on. And let y'all hear what it sounds like. I got 180 miles on it, so I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, get some seat time before I do a review on it. So, so it'll be as factual as possible. But, yeah, man, I think you hear that thing, you see how that goes. So, when I first got it, um, of course, it had, you know, like the Bosch and Raven 250, uh, the 250 graphics on it. I didn't really want to keep it the same, like um, when it came in the box, so I just took the graphics off. I left this on, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but for the most part, I like the all black. I left the uh, front graphics on there. I thought that was pretty cool. It's, you know what I'm saying, it's clean. When I went for my initial first ride, like when I first, um, like the first startup and everything, um, I noticed that like this front, what, what's this, a front brake cable or something? It was pretty, like it was all wiggly and stuff. So I had to zip tie it. Um, so I wouldn't move around as much. Other than that, man, everything. Oh, so I did do like a little tidy kit type of thing in the back. I just flipped it around backwards because these wings was was down a little low. Like they had like, of course, like the fender that hangs down kind of like how the ground be. It has like a little hang down fence. Yeah, man, so that's the bike. It stopped, man. I didn't really do nothing to it. Um, like I said, I love it so far, man. It's like, 
it's pretty equal to the DR if you um in my opinion it's not really crazy of like an upgrade or a downgrade I just love the bike you know what I'm saying I'm grateful that I'm on the road having fun you know what I'm saying in the pack so that's all that matters to me I'm glad I got a bike but yeah man make sure you stay tuned because I am going to um, do some upgrades on it like you know the carburetor air filter and all that but yeah man stay tuned make sure you like subscribe comment man let's go